How's it going? Hoopy Monday, happy Monday, whatever you want to say. Look at take a break from social media, the news. Just watch my show for the next couple of minutes and see what you think. So the good news is, considering we didn't play on Sunday, which we're all a bit upset we were, we got good news on Friday morning that we have a new kit supplier. Adidas or Adidas you want to call it. Depends where you're from, depends how you say it. Um massive deal, 35 million. It's been a long time coming from the fans. We've been asking, asking, and asking to get these boys in. They're probably the best kit supplier in the world. They do fabulous tracksuits, they do fabulous runners. They obviously have the they have Real Madrid. They have um Manchester United, they have Bayern Munich, they have some big clubs in the world that have these have Adidas and Arsenal as well. You you can want to consider Arsenal. But um look okay. New Balance have had us since 2015. They bring out some good kits. I would have to say, this has been the best jersey they have ever bring out to, for us. Obviously, the gold print was phenomenal on the back of it. I'm not going to go start doing demonstrating jerseys and um, what's this and what's bad. But I'm just going to give a few scenarios. Like Obviously, they were criticised for the pink jersey. I thought the pink jersey was quite nice. The 2016 pink jersey, the year of the, the, year of the first treble. I enjoyed it. The reason why I like that jersey because of the history behind the whole pink ticket, Lisbon stuff. I enjoyed that. Um, a lot of people criticised the mint jersey. And the most, I think realistically, Celtic looked at it as the marketing perspective, saying, look, it, not a lot of people bought the green pink jersey, the tour jersey this year. When they, pr they presented it during the summer, people were very pissed off and let down. Like, I know it's a kit, and people are like, what, it's a bit over top, but I thought it was too, looked too Italian-based didn't look like a a proper Celtic jersey like and they haven't even worn it this season like you know they probably won't wear it because of the way it's got the way that everything's gone with the the COVID-19 but <clears throat> it's exciting times for us um I personally I wanted Nike to come back I really wanted Nike football to come back but Nike football weren't willing to cop the cash up and bid the way Adidas have Adidas are going to give us up to between an extra five to seven million if you get into the Champions League Obviously, we'll get more uh, merchandise, Champions League design track suits, Europa League design track suits, and they've done it for other clubs as well, like Liverpool had in the past. Manchester United have had it. Real Madrid always bring them out. Real Madrid were the first team, first football team to have the Champions League design track suits, and then Bayern Munich followed suit with AC Milan. Look, okay, they're a good, they're a good solid organization. I think it's gonna be exciting. What color jerseys would you go with? Like I know there's been concept jerseys around. Flow on Instagram, on Twitter, Facebook, and this should be this, and this should be the leaked picture. At the end of the day, they haven't. No leaked pictures will be linked. The likes of football headlines, they usually get the leaked pictures first. They usually put them up. I'd say it could be Mayish. We're going to start looking at like jerseys, pictures of the Scott Brown with an Adidas kit on, or even a leaked picture. Um, if I went with two strips, because obviously the hoops could be forced one, but. I'd go with black. I wouldn't get any gold in it. I'd just go with black, white and green as the the home one. Obviously, bits of black in it. Um, I think, obviously, let last the last two seasons with Celtic have been such a let, a let down with home, home kits with a new balance, I think. Broken Hoops has paid a lot of, a lot of price on that contract, not getting that contract renewed. New balance because, don't get me wrong, it's a nice kit, but I wouldn't give it, like, even near, like, a 7 out of 10 or... A 10 out of 10 like you know it's too much broken hoops in it i know they want to be different new bands but at the same time it's what the fans are going to buy you know it's it's it has sold obviously a lot of people will still buy the celtic stuff but it's not a favorite like it's not like something you put out of your wardrobe say oh this is fucking deadly this kid i love wearing this jersey you know there's better jerseys there you know as you see me home the ntl the 88 you know even that i know this is this is the best kit as i said love this kit absolutely cool as shit this jersey was this jersey cost me heartbreak to get a long sleeve at the time when i pre-booked it with the print on it but um we go back to new balance when they took over obviously we just had the the round neck ronnie doyle's last season i had to get my jersey really printed three times that season three times the magnets fell apart on the jersey uh, on the Loomis jersey that season the, the magnets fell apart like and they they think it's okay for to get another contract Celtic I know the, the quality did improve like the stitching was horrible it was just wasn't it just felt like it was like it just felt like they didn't put any effort into the, the kits at all like they took over from Warrior and Detroit and they just made a shambles of the kits they really did like and it's 
it wasn't just Celtic that was affected. The likes of Sevilla, Porto, Liverpool, Shamrock Rovers, um, Stoke had kits with them. Republic of Ireland still have a kit kits with them. You know, like they're not the greatest quality of kit manufacturers. And the fact is, like when I look at Umbro now these days, I know Umbro doesn't have the money as a previous was. It wasn't. It was a leading kit kit manufacturer in English football and Scottish football. With the likes of Manchester United, Chelsea and all them boys. Even Ireland had it in England. They've gone bad. They've, like, you know, I like to see Umbro step the game up. And they've bring up some couple of nice kits. But I'd love to see Celtic get Umbro back in the future. I think there's one finished business there with, the, with Umbro. I think we could remaster some of them cracking jerseys, obviously, of the, the Larson days, um, the Bumblebee, you know. Um, that the 2001 well 2001 collar one with the green in it the white one the Lubo the black magic you know there's been good times in Munro and Nike have done a great job as well like as look at the Bumblebee is one of my favourite jerseys of all time but Adidas might bring out a Bumblebee they might bring a Bumblebee out they might bring out the dark green one that's been um, a concept like the dark green one from the 2004 5 season Larson's last um, competitive goals for Celtic at Hamden you could say that was um that was a beast of a jersey, I know it's a an umbro, but they could remaster something like that. Um you could see the remaster of um the eighty seven yellow jersey with the V neck, I have that myself. You could see remastered of the black magic. We have to see Adidas have some quality designs and they're the they're the best kit manufacturer out there. It's thirty five million in Celtic's pocket. New Balance are get moving on and I wish New Balance the best, but I'm sorry, over the last since two thousand and fifteen to now. I felt like about four jerseys out of that time that we've had have been okay. You know, the rest have just been letdowns. The quality of them doesn't feel great. It doesn't hold the print up right in them. The washes on them, like as I said, previous touch, the magnets fell apart in them. The Daffa Pet fell off some of them. You know, such a letdown. And I felt sorry for them. Um, obviously, when I used to get my kids in the Celtic shop in Dumbledore, Oh jeez, I'm belting like Dublin. In Dublin, um, you'd go in. The girl would be saying, "I'm sorry, we're having we're having loads of problems with this. It's not. It's just new. It's just New Balance having been up the standard, and that's what it is. But they've bring out some nice stuff, you know, nice cut, nice collars, nice tracksuits, and nice runners. But let's bring on Adidas. Let's bring on the king, the king of the football jerseys, the king of the tracksuits. You know, we've we've seen Germany winning the World Cup with Adidas. You know, in the past, <clears throat> so you've seen France." doing it as well with Adidas and stuff like that so I'm excited I really am excited and um, I don't know how you are feeling about it but I'm excited that we're going to see a new design a new look you know it's even banners out like Celtic Park and stuff like that scarves merchandise it's just going to be better quality exciting now the price could be a bit more mm, the, the depends, on, depends on the club how stubborn they're going to be you know like I'm kind of same time I'm saying I wish we had Nike back but look at this look what Nike are doing in football they have three different pricings of jerseys. You have your real fit, you have your replica, and you have a you have a different type of fit as well. It's like if you want to get an actual play, a player fit like jersey with Nike, you're looking at 120 quid. And there is a difference. The crest is different, tailored made different. Inside the jersey, you have a different tag. Some of them might not even have tags, some of them might have a stamp on. We'll have to see how we go on with Adidas, how they how they form with. I think they're gonna win over us. I think already when it was announced on Friday, a lot of us were absolutely buzzing and you know it's I love wearing Adidas gear. We all love wearing Adidas gear. It's a step up for Celtic and that's where it should be. And Celtic should be given the best best kiss suppliers in the world because we're the marketing tool, we're the, one of the biggest clubs in the world. People might not from the outside might not say it, but we are. Like anywhere you go in the world, Celtic Jay Z floating around in the bar. So that's it. Hope you enjoy the um, the kiss supply. If you think I'm talking a lot of daft shite, I think I'm doing a, doing a decent job. Subscribe to the channel. I appreciate the support. Hell, hell, and let's be back soon so we can talk about a decent bit of football. I'm lost at the moment, so a couple of throwback players are going to be doing soon. And um, let's see how we get on. Up the Celts.